Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain a globe rupture which is a severe injury to the eye that actually can split open the eyeball. Uh, this can happen from a very bad hit to the eye or after a collision like with a car wreck. Um, but when this happens actually the white part of the eye or the sclera can actually split open in some places. Now we usually see this in a couple of places typically. Uh, one can be here around the edge where the white part of the eye meets the clear cornea. Other times we can see it uh, around or behind where the eye muscles are that attach into the eyeball. These places can be a little bit weaker than others sometimes. And with this the most important thing is to have surgery at that time so we can try to save the eye. Now this can be a complicated surgery, it can be very difficult at times because anything that was inside the eye may have come out at the time of the injury so we need to replace as much of the tissue as possible and then use very fine stitches to help sew up and repair the eyeball. Now if you look back to the state of sight number 48 we covered a corneal laceration now that's a different type of injury where there's actually a cut that splits open the eye here on the front part of the eye at the cornea. Uh, a lot of the same ideas and techniques apply for repairing that compared to repairing a globe rupture, but the overall point remains the same that we really want to try and save the eye. Now afterwards other procedures may be necessary to help recover vision in the eye. If there is a cataract that's formed at that time, that may need to be removed later and then replaced with a lens implant. Other people may need retina surgery to help repair the retina or a retinal detachment or maybe to remove blood or the vitreous gel from the back of the eye if that happened at the time of the injury. Now a lot of times when we see a very uh, severe hit to the eye, sometimes we see fractures in the socket or around the orbit around the eye. Uh, a lot of times this can be a good thing for the eyeball because instead of the pressure being all placed and hitting the eye, some of that pressure is relieved when the socket breaks. But if the socket stays intact, that's some of the times when we see that actually all that uh, stress and pressure goes on the eye and then the eye can break. So if you have any questions about this type of severe injury or if you know someone that it happened to and you wonder anything about it, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.